Carlos TV. What is going on, rock and rollers? Thank you for watching Carlos TV Official. Once again, if this is your first time to watch a video on my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and let's rock and roll. If you have friends who are also into online business, please don't forget to share this video with them and I hope na makapulutan nyo ng aral. So I'm gonna go through all the questions that you guys have already posted. The first one is... Ano po basis sa ilalagay na shipping fee? Paano malalaman magkano shipping fee na babayaran si uh, buyer sa LBC? As of August 27, guys, um, Sh Shopee is going to shoulder 120 pesos na shipping fee. Anything more than that, it will be shouldered by the buyer. Okay? But if, for example, the buyer's amount of spend did not reach 500 pesos, um, the amount of shipping fee will be handled by Shopee. Half of the shipping fee will be handled by Shopee and half of which will be handled by the buyer. Next question, paano yung puhunan mo? Ibibigay ba yun ni Shopee? Si Shopee na ba magbibigay ng mga price? At paano mo makukulek ang puhunan mo? Okay, very good question. I haven't really answered this one yet. So, here's the setting. Shopee will have you required to input a bank information. What that means to say is, you cannot have a Shopee account and become a seller because you can't be paid by Shopee if you don't have a bank account information. So first thing, you have to have a bank account information. If you don't have one yet, please, I encourage you to already open one as soon as possible time. In the meantime, if you don't have the bank account information yet, you can already post online. You can already post your items and sell them on Shopee. However, you can't get paid because you don't have the bank information yet. It will, a Shopee will put the money in your uh, Shopee wallet. All right, so bank account information is extremely important for you to be paid by Shopee. Hi po kuya, naka free shipping po kayo via LBC talaga. Since I started, it's always been free shipping. Nag nagsimula ako nung February of this year and 250 yung minimum spend para maka-avail ka ng free shipping ni Shopee. So every now and then, si Shopee nag update uh, may, may particular na time frame lang siya kung kailan ka pwedeng mag free shipping. So as of um, um, August 27, uh, the shipping fee has uh, the shipping the shipping fee terms has already changed. So I think that uh, um, if a buyer has uh, say spend around 500 pesos and up, Shopee will shoulder wait lang. Shopee will shoulder 120 pesos worth of shipping fee. Anything above that, it will be covered by the buyer. If, for example, the buyer did not spend like 500 pesos, between 250 to 499, babayaran po ni buyer a shipping fee worth 80 pesos or 60 to 80 pesos, depending on the location. Next question. Grab a super helpful na video mo. Mag-start pa lang kasi ako dito sa Shopee. Any advice po? Saan po kayo nag-order ng mga items na ibenta? Thanks, thank you. And gaano po katagal ba ako kayo nagkaroon ng customer to buy item? On your first question, saan ako kumukuha? I've already posted another video pa lang. Just like a couple of hours ago. You can watch that because I featured one of the places where I go to pick up my um, stuff para ibenta sa Shopee. And I featured Tai Tai Changge. So you might want to watch that as well. And number two question, ang gaano katagal bago kayo nagkaroon ng customer to buy? Um, sa akin, from my experience, uh, on the very first day na nag-post ako ng item, automatically po may bumili na ng item ko. So I started with six shorts lang um, na, na Urban Pipe, yung classic na tailored shorts. And it was sold out in a matter of two days. So nag-start lang ako ng six. And then, since naubos na siya, oh, I had this motivation and interest to go to the supplier again and pick up as much uh, shorts as I can because okay na yung pera, nadagdagan na kasi may tubo na yun. So, nadagdagan na, nadagdagan hanggang sa dumami ng dumami ng dumami. And I'm so blessed about that. Luckily ako po, since I started uh, posting my online items, kahit isang araw hindi po nagkaroon ng zero sa, sa shop ko. Pero if, for example, you guys have experienced different thing, first, few weeks, wala pa rin kayong benta, huwag po kayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Ganun po talaga kapag nag-online business. Nasa, natyambahan ko lang po na meron akong item na nag-caught nag ng attention ng maraming tao, kaya naman po tuloy-tuloy na siya. So, um, pag bumalik na yung pera sa inyo, bumili na po kayo in, ng ibang item, kasi parang katuloy siya ng sari-sari store, na kapag marami ka pong item dyan, marami pong bibili, marami bibili, wala na pong hanapin yung mga buyers sa iyo. So, keep 
posting whatever item you want to sell because that will help you a lot. Thanks for this video, really educational for new sellers. Would you know what LBC's time window is for pickups? Okay, in so far as the, the time frame for LBC's pickup is concerned, there's no specific time frame. The, the LBC guy will go to your place any time of the day. Minsan inaabot ko sila ng gabi, 9 o'clock ng gabi, 8 o'clock ng gabi. Just, uh, that is because there's a lot of buyers or sellers who are also doing the online business. So, yung, yung mga ganun bagay hindi natin makontrol because ang dami-dami na katulad natin na gusto rin mag-business and at the same time, na gusto kumita. Kaya, minsan nagkakaroon ng delay si, si LBC to pick up the item. So, it can be between 10 o'clock in the morning towards 8 or 9 p.m. So, mag lang po kayo. And then, pag na-establish na yung relationship nyo ng rider, kasi most, basically, isa lang po yung mag-pick up ng item nyo on a daily basis kapag marami na po kayo nag Marami na, lang, marami na pong bumibili ng items nyo. So, isa lang po yan. Super informative to, I'm also a newbie seller on Shopee and paunti-unti pa lang orders ko. Very good job. So, dyan po yung nagsisimula. Saan ka po bumili ng clothing rack at lagayan ng mga damit? Okay, so that one I will feature in the next video as well. I'm very much interested, uh, I'm very much um, excited for that because I've seen uh, the, the cheapest, I think, as far as I know, the cheapest prices that you can get for those items. If you wanted to also order from order that from me, then that's that's going to be amazing. Sir, paano po yung puhunan mo? Ibibigay ba yun ni Shopee? Si Shopee na ba yung magbibigay ng mga price at paano mo makukulag ang puho, puhunan mo? Okay, and so far as the puhunan is concerned, here's the deal. Shopee will require you to have a bank account information. Without that, you cannot be paid. The money, um, na yung sinasabi mong puhunan na nailabas sa item dahil binili na, hindi mapupunta sa iyo mismo until sa time na meron ka ng bank account information. Ilalagay lang po yun ni Shopee sa iyong Shopee wallet. Yung Shopee wallet po is like an, it's, it's, it's like, like an electronic wallet where you can save your money from Shopee pero you can't withdraw that unless you have a bank or an actual bank account information. Okay? So in, in, in so far as the puhunan is concerned, bumabalik siya, meron tayong option na, na, na mag-require kay Shopee to, you know, to pay you on a weekly basis, sa akin on a Tuesday, pwedeng twice a week, pwedeng once a month. So it's your preference. Meron lang option doon na kailangan mong piliin. Good morning, good morning Sir Carlos. Um, naggawa po ako ng account sa Shopee. Papaano ba mag-post ng product sa account mo? Ida-download ko ba muna yung picture ng product from Shopee at saka ko i-upload para, para i-post. Okay, we're talking about Shopee. If you have items that you want to sell, I would recommend that you take a picture of those items using your cell phone or if you have a, a very good camera, you can use them. And if you wanted to sell an item that's similar to what's already on Shopee, and you think of downloading those pictures, I would recommend that you ask the seller if you would be allowed to you know, you use their photos as well because the, normally hindi sila papayag unless um, you are a reseller of those sellers. So, ang recommendation ko is take a photo of those items that you want to sell para original. Next question, paano nyo po natatanggap yung bayad ng customer? Ano po yung mga options for receiving payment? Okay, so nat nasagot ko na to earlier pero again, you are required to have a bank account information so that you can get paid by Shopee. Magkano ang minimum uh, shipping fee? Again, malalaman po yan ni buyer mismo. Kapag nag-buy siya ng item from you, before siya mag-checkout, makikita niyo, niya mismo yung amount ng uh, shipping fee. So, ibig sabihin, pag tinanggap niya yung shipping fee, um, yun ang babayaran niya yung shipping fee on top of the item na binili mo. Or na binili mo. Uh, I'm not sure guys, if you are watching um, YouTube as much as I, I do, Pero I am very much inspired by this channel, yung Our Family Budget. I think her name is Christine or Christina. I could not remember, but I really like her and I hope to uh, to meet her in person. I, I really love the way she is she is doing her videos. So if you guys wanted to follow her, Our Family Budget, I, I, I would recommend you guys to also subscribe to her channel because you, you get to have another channel that's really worth magtuturo sila ng iba't ibang mga mga pamamaraan para kayo ay makapag-save. So so super cool. Ang galing-galing niya. Pinapanood ko din siya from time to time. Good PM. Ano po pala yung Shopee Wallet? Ang Shopee Wallet, siya po yung electronic wallet within Shopee mismo. 
So doon po nilalagay ni Shopee lahat, lahat ng mga cash or lahat ng amount na equivalent doon sa mga completed orders. Completed orders. Ang Shopee wallet po is an electronic wallet within Shopee itself. Doon po nilalagay ni Shopee lahat ng bayad sa iyo. So halimbawa, may completed order na si buyer. Binayad, binayaran niya na si LBC. Si LBC binigay na rin kay kay Shopee yung bayad ni buyer. So si Shopee ilalagay ngayon yung pera ngayon sa Shopee wallet mo dahil sa iyo yun. So every Tuesday, depende sa kung kailan mo gusto, every Tuesday or twice a week or once a month, pwede kang mag-request to withdraw that amount from the Shopee wallet para ma-transfer doon mismo sa bank account mo. Okay? Hi sir, tanong ko lang po, lahat po ba ng paninda mo made in the Philippines or galing ibang bansa? Salamat po. Um, ang paninda ko po, meron pong galing sa USA kasi yung pinsan ko po, nabanggit ko na po ito dun sa previous video ko. Um, may, may pinsan kasi ako na nasa US ngayon and thankfully, nagpapanala siya ng mga items sa akin na siguro nakuha niya sa pagkukupon. Hindi ko alam kung anong process. So, yun, binibenta ko siya kasi binabayaran ko na lang siya pag halimbawa, nabenta na. As meron din po akong mga items na na-order sa Alibaba. It's an online application as well. Um, mas mura yung ma mga mabibili mo siya galing sa China. Iba't iba. Galing sa Hong Kong, Singapore, China. Depende sa item na gusto mong mabili. Yun nga lang, ang downfall naman doon is if you are starting, medyo, medyo hindi mo ma-afford kasi Depende kung medyo may, may pera ka talaga. Uh, medyo mahirap kasi bultuhan eh. Kailangan mo kumuha ng 1,000 pieces, 2,000 pieces. So, hindi siya ganun ka, ka sabihin na natin, hindi siya ganun ka-practical para doon sa mga tao nagsisimula ka lang. Maliban na lang kung you are very much sure kung yung item na yun is something that you can sell like a hotcake. Ano ang name mo sa Shopee para mag-resell ako? Okay, ang name ko po sa Shopee ay Buy Me PH Buy Me PH or Bill Hin Moko or Mabenta PH Tatlo. Bakit po tatlo? Kasi gusto ko po mas maging visible po sa maraming tao yung aking mga products. If you wanted to do that as well, there's no harm in doing so. So far, wala namang parang terms and conditions or mga policies si, si Shopee na bawal kang gumawa ng ganyang account. Unless meron hindi ko alam, please let me know. Ask lang, one pouch, one pouch lang ba dapat per customer? Dapat ba pagkasyahin lahat ng binili niya sa isang pouch? Paano kung hindi nakasya sa pouch dahil malalaki yung mga items? Ano mangyayari? Okay, per customer, hindi po limited sa isang pouch lang si, si buyer or si customer. They can purchase as much as they want sa shop mo. Pero nasa sa'yo po yun, um, how you would tell your buyer that this amount or these items will not fit into one pouch. So ako, in my case, what I will do is I'll recommend them to um, submit or check out multiple transactions. Kasi I would tell them already na ito lang yung kasha sa pouch na to. So anything that's beyond that, hindi nakakasya. So if you wanted to know to get more and to buy more, you have to please check out again another transaction. So ganun lang po yung kasimple. You just have to tell them because they'll respond to you. If they wanted to have the product that you're selling, they will do that. Oh, thank you for sharing this, Kuya. I watch all your videos about Shopee. Sobrang helpful. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope na nakakatulong talaga ako sa inyo. That's the real intention naman. Additional question, magkano po yung naging puhunan nyo nung nag-start po kayo? Um, not sure if I have already answered this. But, ang puhunan ko lang po, it's less than 2,000 siguro. 1,000 to 2,000 lang po yung starting uh, puhunan ko. And second question, yung mga supply nyo po ba ay dinideliver or dinideliver sa inyo o kaya pa, o kayo pa bumibili? Uh, most of the items that I'm selling online, I am the one who is uh, buying them sa supplier. Tapos may mga iba naman ako na I would request to deliver sa akin. Depende, depende yan sa sa'yo kung ano yung gusto mo mamangyari. Di, may mga supplier kasi na nagdi-deliver, may mga supplier naman na hindi. So ikaw talaga yung pupunta. So you don't have any options. Okay, so that's basically is it for now. I will be creating more videos about um, Shopee. Please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. And keep posting your questions because I will try to answer them accordingly as well.
Thank you so much.